Will Blah Muhammad become the new UFC welterweight champion or will Leon Edwards successfully defend his title? See who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. I've been saying this for so long. I think Leon is so clean. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. And when you don't make a lot of mistakes, it's hard to capitalize. Um, he's so talented in all assets of the game. Obviously, I have trained with him and spent time with him. And he's, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenally talented. I believe the biggest question mark for me in this is how has Bilal's training with Khabib and that Sambo style and that aggressive top pressure, how is that going to play into the title picture? If he gets him down, can he dominate and, and have that beautiful, beautiful onslaught of aggression that we've seen from the people like Khabib and Islam and Umar and Usman that they have? Because it's, it's sensational. So for me, I think it's going to be a Leon Edwards 20, 25 minute decision. I think he's going to dominate and just try calculate, calculatedly decipher and decode Bilal's game. It's up to Bilal to, to bring the dog out. Let's go with Bilal. I think both fighters are slow paced fighters and it suits them slow, slow pace, but I think it suits Bilal more because of his grappling ability, because it gives him time and space to think about exactly when he's gonna line up the shots and so on and so forth. But people underestimate Leon's wrestling ability, as we've seen him with Usman, taking Usman down for one, defending takedowns with you know him, Kobe, so on and so forth. So once that side has been figured out and there's more rounds left, I think Leon's striking ability will start to play a big, a massive role in that fight as it goes on. I actually can see it still going decision. I just think the more effective fight, uh, strike, sorry, are uh, gonna come from Leon as, as the fight goes on versus from Bilal, who'll probably get a little bit tight, a bit more tired from the lactic. And obviously he's not, he's gotten better in his striking, but that's not his thing. So um, it's a great fight, but uh, I would edge it just towards Leon. What have you I'm going to go with the man Bilal, man, from Palestine. I think, uh, look, Leon is, is a great fighter, and right now, currently the best at welterweight. He has what it takes to beat Bilal, but I think Bilal shows up, shocks the world, and uh, can really, you know, take uh, Leon out of his game that fight. So I'm going to go with Bilal. Man, that's a tough one. I train with Bilal. His pace, incredible. He doesn't make mistakes. Um, that one's a hard one. I don't know, but... Um, because their last fight, I guess I'll go with Leon, but it's it's a tough, it's a it's like a pick 'em fight because when I train with Bilal, I realize like that's not a natural like the way his cardio works, like it's incredible. So um, I think he definitely has a shot. Yeah, I think Bilal's gonna get the job done. I think um, he's got a more well-rounded game. You know, I think Leon's takedown defense is solid, but I think Bilal's ability to like mix things up is at a really high level, and uh, he's on a crazy win streak. So I'm, I'm gonna go with Bilal by decision. Um, I gotta go Leon. I think he's probably got one of the best all-around skill sets in the game, um, and I feel like he'll be able to handle the business against Bilal. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Um, just with how the fight was going in the first fight, I got to take Leon Edwards. Man, I think he's the best 170 pound fighter in the world right now, and obviously he's the champion, so he is. But dude, just the things that he does inside that cage, he's very, very calculated, very, very intelligent. I'm taking Leon Edwards. Um, uh, Leon. Mm, don't like Bilal. And I love Leon Edwards. I love his comeback story. I foresee a head kick knockout again. Oh, I want Bilal to win just for the story. He's He's worked so hard, man. Does he win though? Do you think he wins? I don't know. The first time they fought, it wasn't looking good until the eye poke. But who knows? That's that's why they that's why they fight. You know, I, I think he does. Oh, Edwards! You got to you got to give it to Edwards. Edwards is the man. Uh, Muhammad. I'm gonna give the edge to to Leon. I, I, I think that he's definitely the more exciting fighter. Um, I haven't seen too many of Muhammad's fights, but um, I've. I've seen a lot of memes about him being kind of a uh, more of a, a decision fighter, and uh, I know Leon's kind of similar in that that manner. But still, I, I'm going to give the, the edge to Leon. Oh, I think Leon Edwards is just such a fantastic martial art martial artist, like all the way around. Like he is so good, man. I talk about his fight with Gunnar Nelson all the time. Like Gunnar Nelson, somebody that I've studied a lot 
And when you watch a lot of Gunnar Nelson fights in a row and then watch Gunnar Nelson and Leon Edwards fight, man, like Leon Edwards is like also very masterful in grappling as well as striking. He's very underrated in his grappling. His all around mixed martial arts game is fantastic and he's just in a tip top level competitor. So uh, I will never, uh, I would never vote against Leon Edwards in a fight. Oh, I gotta go with uh, my Muslim brother, Bilal. 